I'll talk about quantum mechanics. <gasps> no! Well, I don't know if I can talk that much about quantum mechanics. I just like string theory, but... Yeah, a real physicist will tell you that string theory is all... A popular garbo science. Well, it's not garbo science, but it's just a theory. <laughs> and maybe it is a bit, uh, extravagant. <laughs> but I like string theory. Because you have a fundamental problem in physics. Which is that our two best theories, which are Einstein's, uh, theory of general relativity and quantum mechanics are incompatible with each other. General relativity is like... Well, actually, like, Newton is wrong. <laughs> I mean, he's not... Well, he's wrong, but he's close enough where, uh, you know, Newtonian physics work great for stuff on the Earth, but... Actually, and that was why they still teach it in schools and stuff, but... Um... Actually, Einstein, uh, theory of gravity is the more accurate one, or best working theory at the moment. And it's like basically the idea that there's like a giant sheet of space-time, the fabric of space-time, and it warps. And the warping of space-time is what causes gravity. And then... Quantum mechanics, of course, is quantum, very small, deals with very small things. So usually we think about gravity on like a pretty big scale, but there are some cases when we would need both quantum mechanics and gravity. This conversation is not helping my getting over it abilities. <laughs> like a black hole, for instance, which has like infinite mass, but also infinitely small. So how do we explain that with quantum mechanics and general relativity? You can't. So that's why we need a theory to unite them. So string theory is one of the proposed theories. And it basically says that our universe is made up of tiny strings at the very basic level that is the smallest the smallest divisible thing that makes up everything but strings are not like i don't know when i think of string i think of like a a long string but it's not actually like that it's more like a like a rubber band a one-dimensional rubber band and they vibrate in these spaces kalabi yao spaces and that's what causes the different uh, constants of our universe, like the charge of an electron, for example. And string theory is also cool because it proposes that we don't have just four dimensions, which would be... Well, we can talk about spatial dimensions and then the time dimension, which are kind of different, but... Um, it's like the three spatial dimensions that you're familiar with and then the time dimension ooh ooh but string theory proposes that we have more spatial dimensions but they're not expansive dimensions like the three that you're familiar with instead they are small like curled up dimensions that we are too, simply too big to interact with. Which is why we do not experience them. But, strings can go inside these extra dimension. Oh my goodness. Strings can go inside these extra dimensions. And those are the Halabi Yao spaces where they vibrate. I don't really... I cannot explain why, because I don't remember. Or maybe I just never understood in the first place how exactly string theory can combine general relativity and quantum mechanics, but it can, and the math just, like, works out nicely, in my opinion. 
but many physicists will disagree. This didn't help at all. We're still here. In fact, we're actually lower than where we were. If you want to hear someone explain it better than me, well, actually not hear, but read. There is a pop science book that I really love called The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. That's basically what got me into string theory. Definitely recommend it. Oh yeah, the problem though with string theory is that um, our math, like our theory, is much more advanced than what we can test experimentally right now. Oh, oh, oh. Like we thought with the the like Large Hadron Collider, maybe. So like the idea with string theory, there's like um, they're called super partners. I don't remember that part very well though. It like predicts that there will be extra particles in the universe and we can theoretically we can try to find these particles but we need like a lot of energy to be able to find them like bust them open i guess i don't really know i'm not very i don't know this part that well but yeah we thought that maybe the large hadron collider would be enough but it wasn't so now we're basically stuck because there's no way to experimentally test string theory. Oh, you need a lot of experimental evidence for something to be, you know, considered probable theory. And we just do not have the technology. No, I don't really know that much stuff. This is all stuff you can learn just from reading one book, so... <laughs> 